Oh, I'm just taking apart the lids and the, and the spiles that go in the trees because we have to sterilize the spiles. So we put them in a big, big pot and uh, boil it up for half an hour and figure all the bugs have gone and uh, then we're all ready to start the new season. We have to clean the spiles with a scooter for a minute. Now this is a lid that was made, oh, probably 50 years ago or more. It's uh, from an old uh, oil can that uh, everybody used to have to fix their cars. And uh, so whoever did this, they flattened it and then they curled up the edges. And, and, uh, and this has been used every year for many, many years. And it's also used by me because I'm a, I'm a cheap guy and I like to make great use of everything around me. So there is the uh, most primitive kind of a lid for a bucket for maple syrup uh, that you can ever find. Takes a while to clean everything, but uh, we do clean it, all the pails, and the evaporator gets cleaned thoroughly, uh, and the uh, storage containers get cleaned thoroughly, and so do the uh, brute containers that uh, we put on the trailer to to collect the sap. Do you use any detergents or anything to clean anything with them, Peter? Never use any soap. Never use any detergents, any, never use artificial things. We just use water, and the water works just fine and uh, doesn't poison anyone and uh, doesn't taste bad at all. Because if you put any soap in any of the maple syrup cleaning things, uh, you're bound to have funny tasting syrup that no one is going to want or, in fact, buy ever. If they taste it once, the sale is lost forever.